it's like 65, 70 degrees outside. As you can see, the sun is shining and I just decided it is time to get outside. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am currently here at the Sarah P. Duke Gardens and I am really looking forward to being here because even though I have lived in Durham a little over six years and I only live 10 minutes away, I have just never made the effort or the time to come and look at these gardens and I hear they are absolutely stunning and I'm actually turned this way because right over here is something that I just went wow it is absolutely stunning so i thought i would get up this morning and just kind of get some steps in and finally come out here to look at this garden so i think that without further ado let's go in just wait you won't believe it it's strange as it sounds Extraordinary magic follows you around And the camera can't catch it You won't see it in the mirror If I say look behind you You turn around, it disappears But I see it, I see it I swear I do, I see extraordinary magic in you Out of thin air you appeared in my life Like a burst of technicolor in a world of black and white When my heart was locked inside a box You reached inside now I see my future when I look into your eyes I see it, I see it I swear I do, I see Extraordinary magic in you and I know that miracles happen Who cares what they say So I'll keep my eyes open, awed and amazed And if you start to doubt it, I'll remind you of the million ways I see it, I see it, I swear I do, I see Extraordinary magic in you Isn't this stunning? Oh, just, just look at this. You can't tell me that I'm currently in Durham, North Carolina. It looks like I'm in a very beautiful, curated Japanese garden and it is absolutely stunning. Wow. This is much better than going to the gym. Now, Mark and I have joined a gym and we have been going for the last couple of weeks and it's great. We're putting our health at a priority, so that's wonderful. But sometimes the gym can be just a little monotonous and boring to me sometimes. And so being out here and getting in some steps and burning some calories out in this gorgeous, gorgeous garden. Wow, I am so happy right now. Let's go in here.
know what you guys are thinking. How is it possible that I have never been here? And trust me, I have been asking myself that while I've been walking around this morning. It is just beautiful. And look, there's a bride up there taking her pictures. I can't think of a better place in this area to get your bridal pictures taken. Oh my goodness, that absolutely stunning. And now I'm amongst all of these beautiful tulips, my favorite flower. This, this is how you start the day. You know what the coolest thing about being here today is that I did not know that the cherry blossoms were going to be out today. In fact, I didn't even know that these were here. I honestly just wanted to come out here, get some exercise in. I also wanted to finally see the gardens and then the cherry on top, no pun intended, were these cherry blossoms. It is just very cool. And actually being here today makes me very excited for my trip to Japan, which I hope to go on next year. But yeah, if it just, if it looks even a little bit like this, it's going to be very, very cool. So, all right, I'm going to go home and get some work done and I will see you guys around. Hey guys, so I got home, ate some breakfast, had a little bit of coffee, and then I got some work done. Actually, my inbox is at zero, which makes me very, very happy. And then as I was sitting there, I just decided it is way too nice to be sitting outside. It's like 65, 70 degrees outside. As you can see, the sun is shining and I just decided it is time to get outside. So I'm downtown Durham specifically because I want to go to a local record store. Now, if you guys follow me on my newsletter, you know that I'm always sending out playlists and music recommendations. And this last Friday, I sent out a jazz playlist that is absolutely 
everything. <laughs> and it's actually why I am down here because I really want to try and expand my jazz album collection. So I have some very specific albums that I really want to see if I can find today. I don't know if they're gonna have them, but if not, that's okay because I can just see what else they have. But yeah, I wanted to check it out. And the reason why I wanted to come to this specific store was because they really do specialize in soul, R&B, and jazz. So I thought this would be the perfect store for me to try to find these albums. So let's go in. Unfortunately, they didn't have my specific albums that I went in there for, but they had a lot of other ones and I actually picked up a few, which I will show you guys when I get home. But before I get there, I thought that I would try one more shop and then maybe grab something to eat for lunch. I was in there for like two hours and um, kind of have worked up a little bit of an appetite. So let's go ahead, try one more store and then we'll go grab something to eat. But man, it's such a gorgeous day out.
I moved in with Mark and actually this right here is my old apartment and it doesn't look like anybody is in there right now mainly because it doesn't look like anyone has decorated the balcony but trust and believe I had it completely decorated with chairs and a little garden bench lots of plants tables you guys know you guys know how I do so yeah it's just kind of cool to be down here <sighs> my old stomping grounds <laughs> getting a chicken and ginger dumpling order which looks amazing and then I also got a karagi bun which is a chicken pickles and a little spicy mayo they both look absolutely delicious so let's go ahead and try them looks so good it's kind of what they look like Those are really good. They're so good, it's dangerous. Oh my gosh. It has like a little chili oil flake on it. Little um, scallions. Oh, that is delicious. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try the bun. Mmm, looks good. Okay, looks good. taking such a big bite <laughs> it's not super spicy but it has enough spice just to give it a little pick very very good both of them I have no complaints That was absolutely delicious. So now I'm just gonna walk around downtown for a little bit just to continue to take in this great weather. Um, probably pop in and out of some stores and then a little later on, I have to go over to my friend Ashlyn's house because I purchased something from her. And so once I gather that and I get back home, I'll show you guys everything that I got today. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood body, giving center views I'm just saying I'm amused But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard Number one fan your side your plot Let me think about inside the most Words got deep it's like a swat Making me better you hotter than pepper mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing the cheddar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women they not on your level mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You a move, body giving, seen a fuse I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing Then you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds Different vibe and you ain't proof But you ain't even flexing 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 Good morning. Mm. So this mug is one of my absolute favorites. So my sister's Kendra's husband, his name is Brett, he is also a potter. And he made this mug for me and my sisters one year for Christmas. And so what he did was he took a picture of us during their wedding almost 10 years ago, I think it was 10 years ago, and etched it on the outside of this mug. And so he made us each a mug and gave it to us for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. I don't use it as often, only because I just want to keep it forever, and every time that I use it, I'm just very nervous that I might break it. But um, I thought that I would pull it out today and show it to you guys, but yeah, definitely one of my favorites. So, Anyway, I realized that I didn't come back on and show you guys what I got yesterday when I was just out enjoying the weather in downtown Durham. As you guys saw, I went to the Carolina Soul record shop and had a really good time in there. One of the things that I love that they do is they allow you to listen to the albums before you go ahead and purchase them. And of course I could have pulled up my Spotify and listened to them that way, but I just thought that it was really cool that you could just take it up, put it onto the, put the record onto the turntable and then put on the headphones and be able to listen. So I did that to several different albums yesterday. And so I ended up with two. Unfortunately, they didn't have the specific albums I was looking for. I really wanted to get a couple of Ella Fitzgerald's uh, albums, but unfortunately he says they get them in a lot, but they leave very quickly. So I just have to keep going back and checking back to see um, if they have them. But I know that I will find them eventually. Um, <clears throat> they are out there to be found. I don't necessarily want to <laughs> get them from Amazon. I think, you know, you can always, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but you can get really any album that you want now from Amazon um, for probably, you know, 19 to $30. But I just, I, you know me, I love to have the thrill of the hunt and I love to be able to go out, especially to support local shops like this, to see if I can find some of those old albums for a really good price. And so I'm, um, I'm happy to wait until I can find it in that way. Um, so the two albums that I ended up getting, I got the Dave Brubeck Quartet. And there was, this actually was an album that I, didn't necessarily want to get. There was another album of theirs that I was hoping they had there, but they didn't. So I ended up picking up this one only because it had two of the songs of the other album on this one. Also, it was only $6. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And then you guys saw me listen to this one. I got, <laughs> wasn't on my list at all, but I got the Judy Garland album, um, mainly because, well, two, for two songs that are on here. One one summer over the rainbow that's just nostalgic especially for me and my childhood 
back in the day, they only used to play The Wizard of Oz once a year, and it was usually around spring Easter time. And so every time that it came on, my family and I would sit and watch it. And it just brings back so many memories hearing that song. Now, of course, with streaming and all sorts of options to watch it, you can watch it literally anytime you want to. But way back in the day when I was much younger, you could only watch it um, once a year. And I just finally remember that of um, from my childhood. So the second song that I love, and I love her rendition of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which is also on this album. Um, I believe it was uh, from, originally from the movie Meet Me in St. Louis, but they also have it in one of my favorite Christmas movies called The Family Stone. And um, every time I hear her rendition of that song, it just, I don't know, it gives me all the good feels. So I picked it up and this was only $5. And I figured even if the only song on this album that I listen to is Every Christmas, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, then it will be money well spent. So those are the two albums that I got. And then also, like I told you guys, um, I went to go see my friend Ashlyn. She contacted me about a lamp of hers that I absolutely loved the last time I was there visiting her. She asked me if I wanted it. And of course I was like, absolutely, yes, I'm coming to get it. So I went and picked up that lamp. And so I thought that I would show it to you guys. It is sitting right here. It is quite heavy. Ooh, it is very heavy actually, but this is the lamp and I love it. It is just an old, old piece of pottery that was turned into a lamp. I love this really cute little uh, lampshade here. So yeah, I saw this in her house. I was like, I need that in my house. So immediately when she said, uh, asked me if I wanted it, I, uh, I went over to her house and pick that up with the quickness. Um, I think this is just gonna look really cute. I'm hoping that actually this is gonna look nicely on the cabinet that I have over in the living room that has my record player sitting on top. But if it doesn't fit there, then I think I'm gonna put it over on the console in the, um, in the uh, foyer area. And I think that will look nice on that table as well. But thank you, Ashlyn. I absolutely love it. So with that, I am going to let you guys go for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed following me along yesterday. I'm telling you, it was just like the perfect day. It was so unexpected. Being there in the Duke Gardens was just, it was magical. It really was. It was a place that I've always wanted to go to, just kind of always forgot to make time to go to it. But um, once I was there, it was well worth the wait. And again, if you guys are local to the area or plan to visit anytime soon, I highly recommend coming during this time so that you can see the cherry blossoms. But I'm assuming that the um, that it's just going to be gorgeous even throughout the spring and summer when all the other trees and flowers are blooming. It's just a wonderful space. And I think that now that I've been there once, I'm just going to keep going back because it really is wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, I guess that is it. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you right back here next Sunday. Bye.
reading the good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower of dreams. Real love bursting out of every scene. Mother